This is Parashat Parashaki Tetzel. We learn about Ben Sore Rumore. That was Ben, the son of a wayward and was rebellious. And that's in the sense of the voice of the father and mother. And they can uh, discipline him, he doesn't listen to them. Father and mother, that would be drinks wine and he, he, he barbecues meat and eats and stole money for that. The father should take him to the Zinero Jalimo, Amru, and they should say, Zinero, and they're going to stone him. Stone him. Very interesting. Now, Torah says, why do we stone him? We didn't do such a good Rashi says, he got all of that. The Torah who knows the deep psychology of the story. So, she became a moment of it, you know. Finally, he is going to finish up the money, and he would follow his habit and doesn't find it. And, and he can rob, rob people, rob people, and through robbing, he would die. Amra Torah, Yamu Zakai, Yamu Tzaga. Torah says he should die. Zakai, not Tzaga. Let him die while he's a Sadi, not while he becomes obligated, guilty. That's the point of the parasha, even though they do that much, trust me. I want to talk about some demons and even sales. If the parents are Mokhe, Ben Sarah Mokhe, we don't stone him. Unbelievable demon. Unbelievable. The Gemara says, if the parents are Mokhe, him, we don't do it. We don't have such a thing in Torah. Torah says somebody has to be killed. It hasn't got nothing to do with the machine. Nothing to do with anything. First, you will have two questions. My first question is, which parents are not forgiving the son to be stoned? How do you find such a parent? Then, what is the shock? If Torah tells us that he should die while it is sadly not to be guilty, how does the Mechila of parents help? We need him to be sadiq, to die as a righteous person. The question is a little point. First of all, why do Mechila helps? Because unbelievable psychology. What does Mechila mean? Parents are telling the child, I forgive you, we give you another chance. We believe in you. You could change. You could make a difference. You could do it. Do it. At Mechilamites, parents are telling the child, we believe in you. We know that you could do it. You could make a change. Once a child hears that, once a child sees somebody believes in him, that he could change, he could do it, he could take a step, then he would take a step, then he would do it. But even if the parents give up on him, they understand there is no hope, then nothing works. Nothing works. Therefore, why do we need the parents to be mocha? Because that's within the female, can be fake. <laughs> If they say you are mochel verbally, but in essence they don't mean it, the child feels that. Like a, like a boy came to me and says, My father is going to say, I love you, I love you, I love you. But it doesn't mean anything. I know that it's in love. <laughs> I don't know. Relationship goes with feelings, with understanding. Torah so says, If you are capable really to be mochel, then that works. That doesn't work. It's not thought of. It's not just playing the words. Therefore, for us, it's just such an unbelievable lesson in Chinuch and education. If you believe in your children, if you believe in anybody, you could build them up. So the experiment that the very common made with the flowers, that somebody come and touch the flowers, in other words, encouraging words, they probably blossom much faster. If it doesn't talk not nasty, the flower dies. You know? Even even in, in plants somehow relates the words to them. And Dalva Homer, obviously, children and people, especially children to hear from the parents, the source that they are very close to, they believe in them. Once parents say you are nobody, nothing, he how much believes the parents. I'm nobody, I'm nothing, and nothing will come out of it. So here Torah says, if parents are mocking. And then please empowers him to
to get out of the mud and lose their foot in total and education. 